Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Espinosa. I'm back with another mighty Muslim and Mustang lesson. Today, we are going to talk about riding the bus again. This time, we're going to talk about riding the bus from your bus stop in the morning to school. Okay, let's start with our star breath. Deep breath in and relax. Now our brains are ready to learn. We gallop to success when we follow our PBIS expectations. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. We are all a family at Musclemen, and the grown-up's job is to keep you safe, and your job is to help keep it safe. So let's learn some helpful ways to be, keep our mighty Musclemen Mustang family safe while riding the bus to school each day. Remember, we are all safe keepers, boys and girls. So today, you will learn how to be helpful at the bus stop and riding the bus to school. You will learn how to line up correctly to load the bus at the bus stop, sit down safely on the bus, exit the bus safely when we arrive at school, and keep your mask on while maintaining social distancing. Okay. First things first, we have to talk about. In the morning, I can wait in a safe place. This is really important, boys and girls. There's other cars and buses on the road. So I stand and wait on the sidewalk calmly. I wait until the bus comes to a full stop. I make sure I have my mask on. And then I line up and wait patiently to get on the bus. We all just take our time. We take a deep breath. <sighs> And remind ourselves, we can be patient and wait. Don't forget to keep some social distance as we get on the bus. I can make sure my mask is on, right? I line up and I wait patiently, no need to push or shove, and I make sure that my social distance is maintained. Do you see how my friends down here at the bottom are getting on the bus? They're just leaving a little bit of space, and they're also making sure that the bus door is open. These friends over here, do you see they're still on the sidewalk? They haven't moved yet because the bus is still moving and they're waiting for the right and safe time. I can wear my mask while I ride the bus. Remember, germs travel through noses and mouths. It is true. That's one of the things many germs like to do. A face mask is used like a protective cape. So when we are talking, the germs can't escape. There's no need to worry nor feel less at ease. A face mask holds germs back and catches each sneeze. The face masks are used, you can see more each day, to keep our Muslim and family healthy and keep germs away. Boys and girls, the bus driver is also a part of our Muslim and family, which means they are also a safe keeper. Their job, the bus driver's job, is to keep you safe, and the student's job is to help keep safe. So. I can be a safe keeper on the bus. I can listen to the bus driver. I can sit where the bus driver tells me to sit. Boys and girls, you will have assigned seats on the bus, so you'll sit in the same spot every day. I can say good morning to the bus driver when I get on, and I can use a quiet voice as I enter the bus. I can also be helpful in the following ways. I can sit and stay in my assigned seat. I can also maintain that social distance, remembering that some seats may be empty. Do you see how some of my friends are sitting by themselves? That's okay. I can talk in a quiet inside voice. Remember, boys and girls, the bus driver has to hear to be able to keep you safe, and you have to hear the bus driver. I can also use kind, caring, and helpful words when I talk to my friends. And I can use my manners, like please, excuse me, and thank you. Again, notice how my friends are talking to people in the seat with them or right across, and they're all happy because they're using caring and helpful words. Here are some more ways to be helpful, boys and girls, and be a safekeeper on the bus. I can keep all of my belongings inside my book bag. I can keep my book bag closed. I can keep my book bag in my lap. Notice how the book bag is closed up, it's all zipped up, and it's in my friend's lap. So they're keeping it safe so they have all their belongings when they get to school. I can keep myself and objects in my seat and inside the bus. 
and take a look at how my friends are sitting. This, their back is up against the back of the seat and their bottom is on the bottom and they're staying in their seat. I can still talk to my friends and stay seated like this. Remember boys and girls, this is the safekeeper way to sit on a bus. I can keep any food I have in my book bag. I can leave a clean and neat seat. Take a look at these seats. That's what it should look like every time I get off the bus, nothing there. And if I do see trash on the floor, I can throw out any trash I see. Most bus drivers have a little trash can for you. I can stay in my seat until the bus has stopped. This is really important, boys and girls, because when you arrive to Musselman, a grown-up will get onto the bus and call you to get off the bus. So when the bus stops and you arrive at Musselman, you will stay seated and wait for a grown-up to get on and tell you when it's your turn to exit. I can follow all the directions and make sure I have my listening ears on. I can exit safely. My book bag is on my back like my friends here. And I hold on to the railing as I walk down and I can walk right to my classroom, boys and girls. This is the door that you will walk in when you arrive at Musselman. So the buses come to the back of the school where the cafeteria is. So you'll see this big garage door and then you'll see a blue door there. And again, no worries, boys and girls. There'll be lots of grownups and teachers around to help you and tell you where to go. Then I will walk through the cafeteria. So this is what our cafeteria looks like and follow my red dot. I'm going to walk all the way through this hallway. And again, there'll be lots of grownups to help you and tell you where to go. When I get right here, do you see these yellow doors? I might go to the right or I might go to the left. Again, always going to be a grown-up around to help keep you safe, boys and girls. So when I turn, I will go right to my classroom. So this is the front door where you turn. Okay, boys and girls. So let's remember our little safekeeper rhyme about buses. When I ride the bus each day to keep us safe, here's what I say. Talk, quietly stay in your seat, safe hands and safe feet. I know we're going to do a great job of being safekeepers at school and on the bus. Remember, we will gallop to success as mighty Muscleman Mustangs when we follow our PBIS expectations. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. I'm going to put everyone into my head, take you all to my heart, fill my heart up with love, and send all my love and wish wells out to you. Until I see you again, take care, stay safe. Bye for now.